Now to growing fears about a potentially deadly virus spreading in the U.S. One hospital worker in Florida who may have been exposed to MERS has been admitted, and there are fears hundreds more may have come in contact with the patient. ABC's Steve Osinsami is in Atlanta this morning at the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Robin. We've been talking with investigators here at the CDC who are tracking this, and they underline that this is spread through extended contact. So their big concern is over anyone who flew on a flight with this patient. Health officials here and in the UK now are trying to track down every single passenger on this patient's domestic and now international flights. This morning, doctors worry that the second sick traveler to arrive in the U.S. from the Middle East may have infected two health care workers who treated the 44-year-old patient at Orlando hospitals last week. They're already showing symptoms of MERS. The other uh, team member it was admitted because it, meet, it did meet a criteria for admission. MERS, or Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, is a new imported disease that started with camels overseas. It's not as contagious as the cold or flu, but it kills nearly one third of its victims. To be safe, doctors sent home 20 health care workers who had contact with the patient from two hospitals, told to look out for symptoms for the next two weeks. They're also warning at least 80 people who may have been exposed in hospital waiting rooms, health officials trying to ease fears. The risk is negligible to this community. I think the risk is negligible to those who were in the waiting room. The patient, who works as a health care provider in Saudi Arabia, entered the U.S. in Boston, then flew to Atlanta before arriving in Orlando. And the risk of MERS is much greater in the air. The CDC is working with authorities from 20 states to find every single passenger on the Florida patient's American flights, posting warnings at the nation's busiest airports. They believe MERS is spread through close contact over long periods of time, and they think it might be coughs that spread the virus the most. This is a relatively new virus, and there's no specific antiviral medicine, and there's no vaccine. It takes between two and 14 days to come down with this, and for now, there is no cure. Robin? Yeah, we heard no vaccine, Steve. Thank you.